Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Carlos and I hope that this video finds you well and healthy and everyone in your circle of friends and family are doing all right. I got a comment from Noel. Ow, you? I, I don't know how to say that second part of the name, but the comment was on the how to lip sync in Adobe Animate video. And the comment reads, Hi, Coconut Justice. I have a question. How do you record your voice? That's a wonderful question and we'll get to it right after the intro. So thank you for the comment, Noel. In this video, we're gonna take a look at different mics. We're gonna take a look at different software and we're going to take a look at the different formats that you can save your audio to bring into Adobe Animate. We have a lot of flexibility when it comes to trying to find something to record on. I will do all of my recording, well, I'll do most of it on this mic. It's a Rode Podcaster mic, but if I don't have this, you'll see me using things like Rode Wireless Mic Go. You'll also see me using a Rode Video Mic Pro. I also have these lavalier mics that you can pin to your shirt. Anything that's going to reduce the noise that's in your surroundings. And these mics are built specifically to do that. I have a lot of voiceover artist friends that will go into their closet where they have all of these clothes hanging there. They put their computer right up against the clothes and then they use the mic and all the clothes that are right in front of them are absorbing all of the extra sound. You've also seen some YouTube videos where people go and get these U-Haul blankets that they hang up to, to dim all of the extra sound that might be bouncing off the walls. You can even just record straight into your phone. These new iPhones and even Android phones, all of those are starting to have some really impressive, almost professional level mics in there. So feel free to use that. Don't let not having a mic get in the way of you actually creating a project. Other hardware that I use is the iPad. I'll record straight into the iPad. And I know that Android devices also have the voice memo capabilities. So you can just record whatever you want to say and then send that over to your computer. Speaking of computers, you can totally connect the microphone to your computer and then just record directly into there. And we're gonna talk about recording software in about two minutes. Another thing that'll be helpful when you're doing these recordings is a set of headphones. Now you can use the same headphones that come with your phone. I have these over the ear headphones that I was using for a long, long time. But now, I got these AirPods Pro that I use. Now an important reason to use headphones is if you have audio playback, uh, for example, if you might be recording a rap song, I know some people that do that. If you have some music playing back, you want it to play so you can stay on rhythm, but you don't want it to come through the microphone. You want the sound of your voice to be as clear as possible. Okay, so as far as hardware goes, we're gonna use iPhones, iPads, uh, Android devices, whatever devices we have available. Uh, we can record using a mic directly into the computer. Uh, if you have a laptop, chances are you have microphones built into that laptop. So go ahead and use those mics too. Those are fine. I used to have this mic set up on this stand and then this stand would be on my desk. But I found that sometimes if I'm doing something and I'm getting really into it, I might tap on the mic and then you get extra noise. So what I ended up doing, I have a karaoke machine and I bought this stand just because, I mean, when you're really getting into the karaoke, there's a lot of power when you're just really getting in there and you're like, Rah! Rah! so I repurposed that mic stand so when I'm recording I'm not bumping on the table and I have the shock mount down here where it absorbs a lot of the bouncing a lot of the banging around and so just those little things really do help clean up the voice that you're trying to record so we got hardware covered we got our mic we got our computer we got our 
phones, we got our closet with the clothes hanging down. Now let's talk about software. There's three pieces of software that I'm gonna cover right now. Two of them are free, one of them is paid. I belong to Adobe Creative Cloud. You can use Adobe Audition to record your voice, add sound effects, and even if you're making a song, you can drop in some music and you can cut up the audio and make it sound exactly how you want it. You can add effects, you can do all those things, and then you take that audio file and you bring it into Adobe Animate. We're gonna take a look at Adobe Audition, but I'm not going to get into it too deeply. That's for another video. I just wanted to show you guys real quick how you can edit audio. So I have Audition open. What I'm gonna do is grab my audio file and drop it in to this holding area here. If we were dealing with Premiere, or After Effects, this would be the media bin. So what I'm gonna do is open up a new multi-track. I'm going to find the location for where I want everything to be saved. I have audio tutorial, hit choose. Sample bit rates, uh, I like to keep it in the 44 to 48,000, 32 float, that's fine. I'm gonna click okay. So now I'm able to grab this audio file. Once you drop that into place, Audition is gonna do a kind of converting. And so if I hit R for Razor, I'm able to come in here then and start chopping out some of these silent parts. And then we can move that over to the right. If I hit the space bar, I can even click and drag this to chop off some of the unwanted audio. Let's say we wanted to drop in some music. I can grab my MP3 file or AIF or Wave, and I'm able to drop that into the media bin. And then I'm just gonna drop that in here, and all of a sudden we have, we have this volume line here that we can click and drag down And even here, at the bottom right here, if we click and drag to the right, it'll increase the volume. Hey, how's it going everyone? I hope this video finds you well. Once you have everything all cleaned up in the way that you want it, what you wanna do is hit File, Export, Multi-Track Mix Down, and then drop down to Entire Session. When I'm doing my cartoons, I'm gonna export as an AIFF file and hit browse so we can save to the proper location and I'm gonna hit okay. So the reason why I'm doing AIFF, I wanna give Adobe Animate the highest quality media that it needs to then create a high quality product. But let's say your budget isn't really set up for a Creative Cloud membership. What you can do is go to audacityteam.org. Audacity is an open source version of the type of software that is Adobe Audition. I'll leave a link in the description. If you have a Mac, one of the pieces of software that comes installed in your Mac is QuickTime Player. So go ahead and use QuickTime Player. All you have to do is go up to File, New, Audio Recording, and then make sure that the mic that you wanna use is selected and that will let you record your audio and even save out as an MP3. Which leads me to the next conversation, file types. There are three main file types that I use, AIFF, WAVE, and MP3. The main difference between these three file types, AIFF and WAVE are basically the same thing. AIFF was built by Apple, where WAVE is more of a Windows thing but the quality difference is about the same. An MP3 file has more compression to it, so the quality probably won't be as good as an AIFF or a WAV file. But the benefit of having an MP3 is the file size is much smaller, making everything more compressed and more downloadable. Okay, we have hardware covered, we have software covered, now there are some extra outlying things that we need to keep in mind. For example, what are you gonna say? It's very important 
to have something like a script written out so you're not sitting there thinking, um, um, or um. You'll appreciate this tip when you have to go through and chop up your audio files to get all the ums and uhs out of there. And one of the steps that you can take to prevent that is to have a script ready. And it doesn't even have to be a full on script. You can just have an outline so you have bullet points that you can follow and you still have some of the flexibility that you'll appreciate when you're trying to tell your story. Now let's flip over to Adobe Animate. And all I did here was create a new document and it's at 1080p resolution. So that's 1920 wide by 1080 tall. And what I'm going to do is do a command R for import. And then I'm going to find my folder and find audition test mix down. AIF. Once that gets loaded, we see again here, if we hit F5, we have our waveform. And I'm going to click the very first frame and come over to the properties panel and make sure that the sync is set to stream. And that's a brief tutorial on how to create the audio for lip syncing in Animate. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any more questions, please leave them in the comments. Uh, you see that if you guys don't have enough of the information that I'm trying to give you, I have no problem creating these videos to help explain it just a little bit more, a little bit better. If you did find this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. If you know anyone else that might find this helpful, send this video on over to them. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And if you get a chance, hit that little bell, because every time I come out with something, you'll be alerted. And then that way we learn to do all this stuff all together. All right, guys, that's it for me. Keep washing your hands, keep being healthy, and I will see you in the next video.